fire adapted plants actually benefit from an occasional fire. Some plants, like the native grass tree, only flower in the aftermath of a fire, and certain banksias, wattles, and the mountain ash only drop seeds when a fire has occurred. Lots of plants drop seeds in a fire. Those seeds have great growing conditions because the ash makes the soil really fertile and the trees are bent back so that sunlight can get to the seeds. And some plant seeds are in such a hard case that they're only split in a fire. If a fire doesn't happen for a while, short-lived plants that only regenerate through fire will become extinct in the area that hasn't had a fire for too long. Here are some plants that benefit from fires a lot. Australian orchids, specific branxiums and wattles, eucalypts, mountain ash in particular, the native grass tree, acacias, baronias, hakea, grevillea and the Christmas bush. These species didn't originally benefit from fire. They adapted, which was a smart thing to do because they turned something that was a complete disaster for them into something that actually benefited them. You could go so far as to say that some of these species would not exist without fire, or at least have a severe disadvantage in spreading and growing. Some species rely on bushfires for survival. They depend on an occasional fire just as much as desert plants depend on an occasional bit of rain. A few plants can't drop their seeds without them being heated by fire. Fire ensures the survival of many species because they can't germinate seeds without it. Some fire adapted plants regrow quickly. Depending on how badly they were burnt, they can regrow in a matter of weeks. Grasses drop seeds too, and they usually take 12 months to grow and mature. Some plants' survival tactic is actually to regrow fast. On the other hand, other plants take a few years to reach reproductive maturity after a fire. Those plants would be killed off if there were two fires in a short amount of time, so quick regrowing is the way to go for plants in a fire prone area. There are two ways for a plant species to survive fire. One is to drop thousands of seeds to create new plants. Even if the plant that dropped the seeds dies, at least some of the new plants will survive. Some of those plants even go so far as to have special seed cases that are somewhat fire resistant. And the other way to survive is to grow very fast. Some plants have dormant buds under the bark that are triggered by fire, and some have a big tuber called a lignotuba that produces new growth. A lot of plants specifically grow really tall and have their leaves up high so they don't get burnt and some have thick bark to protect their insides from being burnt. All in all, a small fire is a really good thing for some plants. 